happy Sunday. Happy February 7th. It is Super Bowl day. I don't know who's playing, but we're about to get started. Baby girl just went down for a nap. It's 4.30. And Ronnie just got home from picking up the dogs from the groomers. Um, and we are about to make our um, Super Bowl dinner. Right, babe? Yeah. What you looking at for? The recipe? Yeah, he's looking up how to bake the sweet potatoes. But let me show you guys what we're going to have. So we're going to have some... And we're not going to eat all this today, obviously. But we had to buy it in the quantities that Costco had it. So we have some lobster tails. Um, and these are a good size lobster tail. We got these from Costco. And then we got some of these. This is what we really went for. We were going to get a whole box, but we decided... We didn't need that much food because it's only us two. Hold on, y'all. We got these. The um, king crab. So we got one for each of us. These were only like 60 bucks at, um, at Costco. We love Costco's. Okay, we love Costco. Okay, and then we purchased these when we went to Wegmans because Costco, um, the ones they had were really expensive. And since we have all this other seafood, we didn't need a lot. So we got a bag of the sea scallops. And then I like to wrap mine in bacon and broil it that way or cook it that way. So we have some hickory bacon. We have some sweet potatoes. And then we have some fresh broccoli that we purchased from Wegmans that we're going to steam, cut up and steam right here. And then we also have coleslaw because we had it left over from the tacos last night. So I'm going to make this into some coleslaw. And I have some coleslaw. Coleslaw stuff right here. So that's going to be dinner. Really excited. And yeah, we are going to get started. Oh, and I've already started, but I had one of these earlier. I'll probably have another one with my dinner. Do you guys um, drink those Angry Orchards? Angry Orchards? Ronnie picked up one yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, he picked up a pack for me yesterday. Oh, I wanted to show you guys that I ordered a few things from Amazon. Um, one of the things is like the adapter plug for the um, iPhones. You know, it doesn't come with the headphone jack and the regular lightning jack. So I have to plug the stuff in with the headphone in into the adapter. So I got a pack of three of those. I would show you, but it's plugged in right now to my mic that I'm using. Can y'all hear me? I'm not talking that loud because baby girl's sleep and the door is open upstairs. Plus, he's got this going. And then I had to order this, which is a um, USB power delivery adapter for my MacBook so that I can plug in my um, Snowball microphone when I do my voiceovers. Um, there's no ports on my MacBook Air, so I needed this. So I got this from Amazon. I got it in the rose gold color because my laptop is rose gold. Um, I think this was like 20, 20 bucks um, because I got it in rose gold. I could have got it for like 15 um, if I wanted white, but I just got rose gold. So I did pick that up. And then I have something coming tomorrow, which I'm really excited for. It was supposed to come earlier, but it's been delayed. It's coming tomorrow. Um, the wall decor that I bought to go in this big space right here. Yep. And then... I also ordered the two pendant lights that are going to go over the island. You guys know we are going to extend the island double deck. But um, I'm going to get the electrician to cut out some of those um, recess lights and move some of them. Take this um, blue light thing down um, and then put two pendant lights over the new island. So I ordered those. I have all of the curtain rods for here now. All of those came. I just have to get the curtains and what else did i order i ordered some wall sconces to go on both sides of this huge picture i just got the aspar um silver wall sconces from z gallery so those will be coming in the next couple of weeks and then what else i think that's all i've ordered so far i ordered some more samples of some countertops too so those should come soon but yeah so we're about to start cooking Okay, y'all, so Ronnie wants to bring y'all along as we prepare the meal. So he is washing off 
the sweet potatoes. We're gonna have some fresh baked sweet potatoes um, as a side. Make it more than two? Yeah, we have some of those. Oh yeah, so oh, he's gonna make four of those. He's just washing them and brushing them. them. What are you scrubbing them with? What is this? Uh, scrub brushes. Just found just in the bin. Huh? One of those scrub brushes that just found in the bin. Oh, he's um, scrubbing them now to get like all the gook and stuff off of them. I am going to work on cutting this um, so that I can steam it. And we do have this steamer um, we bought from, I think we got this from Walmart a few years ago, but we, baby girl, it's moving. Oh my gosh, she's coughing. Um, we got this from Walmart a few years ago. And then we'll move on to the crab. But we do have, for the crab, we have this Phillips um, seafood seasoning. And then we also have, of course, tried and true whole bag, right? Um, and then we can use some butter and stuff like that as well. Let me go check on. I mean, baby girl's right here. You guys can see her. Not so it is 4:40, and the game comes on at. It comes on at 6, right? Uh, 6.30. 6.30. So, actually, we might be cooking too early then, right? Oh, okay. So, we're going to eat dinner before the game comes on. Um, baby girl is moving over here. Let's sleep, though. Okay. Let me get my chapstick out of the office. I did not film the content I was supposed to film today, y'all. I needed some sunlight and it was snowing here in the DMV, so. Yeah, I know how it is. Oh, I need to submit my timesheet. I'll do it later. Um. I have to do some training, like 15 minutes of training for, for my other job <clears throat> tonight, and then I can um, submit my timesheet. But anyway, y'all, I'm really excited about this meal because I'm hungry. So, I'm going to set y'all up. Oh, I uploaded a vlog today. It's called Happy Half Birthday Reagan because we had a half birthday celebration, so go check it out. Now y'all can see my nails in the light. Yeah, I don't know if y'all could see him last time. And I'm finally almost caught up on all of my vlog footage. You know, I had probably like a month and a half worth of footage and I was always behind. But now, like, Reagan's birthday was half birthday. Was just last weekend? That was last weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that footage went up today. So I think I probably have one more vlog and then I'll be up to real time. And I'm not going to try to get that far behind in my vlog footage anymore. So, um, once I have enough for a vlog, I'll put it out and hopefully it'll be like at least once a week, maybe. Cause I, <clears throat> I do like putting out at least, you know, 20 minutes so that you guys can be entertained. I don't, I don't really care to look at vlogs that are like 10 minutes or seven minutes that are real short. Um, so I try to put out at least 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes a little more, but we'll see. I know some of you guys don't like long videos and some of you guys prefer the, um, long ones. So excuse me but i'm not going to let my vlog footage i'm going to try not to let my vlog footage get that far back which is why i haven't been filming dedicated videos because i had so much vlog footage to get through and i wanted to take you guys along to see everything that had been going on in our lives ronnie and i talked about it and we are going to do a q a video right babe yep. so as soon as i i think i have one more vlog and then <coughs> excuse me and then we can um, do the video. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, you guys can leave. I don't know um, if I should just post a different video that says, "Hey y'all, if y'all interested in you know a Q and A, post your questions here, and then I just you know go back to that because I I can post that right away, and I don't have to have it in real time like this vlog. So that's what I'll do. I'll record a, sn a snippet saying to leave your questions here, and then I'll upload that maybe 
tomorrow or Tuesday and then I'll wait a full week to give you guys time to ask us the questions and then we'll sit down and we'll pre-record I want to do something live I know a lot of you guys um, signed on to our IG live when we made baby girls uh, baby food for the first time but a lot of the people on Instagram babe were saying they don't have I mean a lot of the people on YouTube were saying they don't have Instagram accounts so they want us to go live um, on YouTube which I've done plenty of times so I was gonna do the Q&A live on YouTube um, or Instagram it didn't matter but I think it's best for us to field the questions because some people be out of pocket and I don't have time for the craziness um, obviously we would just not answer the questions if we don't want to answer them um, but some people are you know they don't got it all you know so I think it's best that we pre-record it and then put it out for you guys I don't know we'll, we'll talk about it and see um, but this girl. Keep on moving. Um, I will record a little snippet telling y'all to leave the questions. And I'll also put something on, I guess, Instagram. As it helps to support my channel. Okay, so he is. A helper guidance. He's preparing the sweet potatoes right now. And he is just. Poking them, he washed them, scrubbed them, poked them, and then what's next? <coughs> Oven. For how long? Uh, probably about an hour. An hour at four. So they soft. At four hundred. At four hundred degrees. Yep. So he's gonna put those in, and then I am gonna work on washing this fresh broccoli and cutting it down. I don't like these big old stalks, so I'm gonna cut it down, and then um, I'm gonna pop it into the steamer tray, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna steam it I don't know how long but I honestly think that this might be too early for me to steam it so I'm just gonna prepare it and then put it in here because it's only 450 and those have to cook for an hour and it doesn't take long to steam but we also have to um, steam this and steam this and then I have to pre-cook some of the bacon because the bacon cooks slower than the scallops so I'm gonna do that and then this is some um, coleslaw that I'm gonna make so y'all yeah. Are going to watch me wash, well, not wash, but cut up the um, broccoli. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to go wash this off and then I'm gonna switch y'all around to him and you can see what he's doing. He's about to handle the seafood and stuff, but I'm about to wash my hands and then deal with this. All right, here's the clean broccoli, y'all. So, I have not made Fresh broccoli, I don't know if I've ever made fresh broccoli, but I'm, what I'm thinking you do is just pull them, right? Cut it from, you could just cut it from all the stock. Like this? Yeah. Because I don't like all this stock, so like you that might be Cut it as much stock as you want. Yeah. And then this is trash, yeah? So, and then I'm going to have to cut this a little bit more because... told me like I don't know if it's a recipe or not but basically just to steam the broccoli and then once it's finished steaming you just toss it in some extra virgin olive oil and toss a little bit of the um, sea salt the coarse sea salt on it and it tastes really really good like I don't put butter and all that other stuff it just tastes really really good so I'm gonna try that is that how you want yours or do you want butter and stuff on yours uh, the last time we cooked them like that that was good you could do that the olive oil in the yeah. in the Sea salt was really good. This one is a bit thicker. This just tastes like it's, I mean, looks like it's gonna be fresher. Don't you think? Because I usually buy the steam bags, y'all, because during the week it's all about convenience around here. But um, this actually looks like it's going to be good. Um, 
So I'm just cutting down some of the stalks now. Y'all making me think I got my own cooking channel. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'm just making it into more manageable pieces. But I mean, if you like yours big, you can just um, eat it like this. But I like it in more manageable pieces. And we will definitely have leftovers. We're not eating all of this tonight, but you kind of have to buy the quantities that they have in the store. And one stalk of these was probably enough for one meal, but we knew we were going to have leftovers, so we just went ahead and got two um, stalks of the broccoli. So now, pretty much done here. And I can put this in the steamer. I'm not going to turn it on yet, but uh -oh. now it's um, it's pretty much done. I can put it in the steamer. I'm not going to turn it on yet because, like I said, the food stands still have an hour to cook. Um, but I'll just rest those over there. And now I'm going to grab the camera so that Ronnie can show you what he's going to do with all of this seafood. Did you saw the seafood? Um, and we again, we got all this stuff from Costco. Let me dump this in the trash. Keeping the kitchen clean so that we don't have to put that in the dishwasher. Clean so much. Do you need it or not? Uh, for the potatoes? Are you cutting them okay? Or no? Rinse it off. I, I could use it to prep these lobsters with. Okay. Dum -dum -dum -dum. So, y'all, why he got the uh, kitchen towel on, <laughs> tucked in him like he a chef? Y'all see that? Yeah. Look. <laughs> Boy, That's funny. Um, I need some paper towels. Oh, I forgot I got to do the um, scallops, too. I usually do those. I'm going to turn on the oven for those. This is what's nice about, sorry, y'all, having the double oven because he has, I think I put it on. He has the um, sweet potatoes in the top, and I can put those in the bottom. I think it was 450. I'm gonna cook the. Actually, I need to broil the bacon a little bit first. Actually, hold on. I'll do that in a second. But yeah, he's about to do this. So let me flip the camera around so y'all can see. Okay. Say that again, because I was flipping the camera. I just learned this yesterday on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And my brother has a way of cracking these, where he just lays them on the side and pushes down on them like this, and he pulls out the entire lobster tail. And I'm having an angry orchard. So what does this do? You said you so learned this? The to cool. Oh, oh, you've been looking this stuff up since yesterday? Yeah, I ain't about to mess up this seafood. <laughs> he said, I ain't about to mess up this seafood. <laughs> I don't think I've ever cooked a lobster tail. I know you steamed some before. You have to take it out? Oh, you want to see. Oh. Take that out, but you uh, lift it. Lift it. That's very messy. My phone's about to die. Shout out to YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can find out anything you want on YouTube. I don't know what he's about to show y'all because I ain't never seen this, but I'm going to trust that it's right because I like lobster and it looks good. And those are kitchen shears, in case you guys were wondering. Ooh. Voila. Ooh. Ew. 
So that's how you cook. That's how you steam them, or what are you gonna do? I'll put them in the oven at four hundred degrees and for like. Oh, I have some of that um, garlic minutes. butter still in there too. Yeah, I'm gonna use some of that. Put it on it before we put it on. You're supposed to put baste it in butter. Uh mm huh. -hmm. The season of butter. I actually need to melt the butter down after I finish prepping it. I ain't in a rush though because we gotta wait for an hour. Yeah. That looks good, y'all. Do what you want. But yo. <laughs> Chef Boy R G Perfect. in the building. Okay, y'all. So he's doing the last one. I showed y'all on Instagram too when he did the the second and the third, but this is the last one he's doing. He said that these are already cleaned at the store. Um, so, you know, he didn't have to go through like the rigorous cleaning and like all of that other stuff, deveining and all that other stuff. It was already done for him. And these came from Costco. I know I told you guys a million times that they came from Costco. So he's saying to stop before you get to the fin. Like, don't cut all the way down to where the fin is. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Would you guys eat this lobster once it's cooked? Doesn't it look good? And these are nice size lobsters. I don't know how much this was. How much was this? Forty some dollars. They were like forty. They were like forty. Two, I think for four of them so not bad ten dollars a um a tail and these are a, a lot bigger I know my sister-in-law got some for I think it was New Year's and they were five dollars each but they were smaller they were good but they were smaller so I think ten dollars is um a good price because these were like double the size of the other ones so not bad at all and that's the fourth one Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to prep the bacon. I'm going to pre-broil it just because the bacon cooks a little bit slower or a lot slower than the scallops here. So um, essentially what I'm going to do is pre- Okay, y'all, so I'm about to prepare the bacon. We have 12 scallops. So let me show you. We've already rinsed them and they are waiting on us. So I'm going to attempt to do 12 of these. If not, I can cut. Some of them are smaller so I can cut the bacon, but we should have enough. Well, and this bacon is not that thick. This is not thick slice, so it shouldn't take long. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna cook it all the way. I'm just gonna pre-cook it just a little bit because I don't want the um, scallops to cook quicker than the bacon once I wrap them. And I'm going to broil them on high. I don't even know if I can get 12 on this pan, but we're about to see. In Fox News. Children back into the classroom. I'm Joe Chiro, Fox News. Controversy continues. We have our Alexa show right there, y'all. Yeah. Okay, let's see how many pieces this is. This might be 12. I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh! Just put two more after you. I just fixed two more. So I'm going to put this in the oven on broil on high. Um, put our scallops in the fridge.
don't know. Do they sell wider than this one? Wider? Yeah. Just make a pouch. You know how to make a pouch? That's what I'm trying to do. No, put another piece on the top and then then you push the side and then put it in the middle. No, that's going to be small. So like this. Let me see. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Okay, y'all. So we made a pouch for the first um, set of the king crab. So he's going to show you how we did it on the second one. Well, these you ain't got to worry about seasoning them because uh, you're going to make a little butter dip for them. So that's mm -hmm. where all your flavor going to come from. Mm -hmm. Right now, we just want to steam them in the oven pretty much. Oh, they cheated us in this pack. What? They didn't give us the other two. Yeah, it's okay, I'll take that one because we got so much food, it don't even matter. <laughs> this is the equivalent of probably like five regular crab legs. So yeah. it's plenty. <laughs> so what he's doing now is he's making a steam pouch, but because the Reynolds wrap isn't like extra wide, we have to kind of connect two pieces, but it's gonna turn out like that over there. And he's just gonna fold it over twice so that all of the um, steam and everything gets locked in. Y'all, we acting like we've done this before. This is our first time doing this. <laughs> but it looks like it's gonna be good. This looks promising, right? <laughs> now we just gotta cook it right. Right, so we'll see. Um, and by the time these go in, I'll be taking the bacon out because I think these only have to cook for how long like 15 minutes or so? Yeah, so I'll just um take the bacon out and um start wrapping the scallops. So he's going to do the same thing on this side, just wrap it, um, fold it over twice, and then he's going to um, seal the ends up by folding those down as well. And so it just makes a little steam pouch. You can actually buy these. I don't know if they come this large, but you can buy them. Yeah, so. <clears throat> and we already had the brittle trap on hand, so we didn't have to purchase any steam pouches. So that's cool. So we have both of those ready to go in the oven. Um, and I'm gonna take out the, let me see y'all. Y'all, ooh, it's steamy. Don't talk about my oven, y'all know I'm getting a new oven. I'm gonna let it cook just a little bit longer. And then I'll take them out and I'll wrap the scallops. Um, and the last time I used the skewers to cook them on, did you want me to do that this time or do you want to just lay them flat? You can do that the way the bacon Yeah, because it helps with the bacon. Um, I use this skewer set down here. And it comes with the kebab sticks. We actually have kebab sticks as well, but these are reusable, so I just use these. Hold on, y'all. All right, so here's the three skewers I'm gonna use. It came with um, six, but I only have 12 scallops, so I'm gonna put four on each one. Um, I think we should be okay with four. Yeah, if not, I'll get another one. But I got this from Ross a long time ago. Anyway. Baby girl still sleeping in our room let's check on the potatoes they still have some time did you time these babe um yeah around six o'clock when it should be done 
so they have about 30 more minutes and then we can start pretty much yeah everything else probably gonna take about 15 or 20 minutes because it pretty much starts with the rest of the cell yeah all right y'all so we're about to turn on the steamer again we got this from walmart like a long time ago y'all um i don't know how much water he's putting in there but he said you don't put a lot so that's what he's doing he put about that much two oh okay um and then we're gonna add the fresh broccoli in there okay so this is how much water we're putting in and then um put the tray that came in there we lock the top down doesn't this look like an instapot it's not though let me unplug the air fryer plug this up ronnie actually knows how to work this i have never officially used it but I know he's probably going to put it on steam. And there's also a keep warm function as well. But anyway, let me get what I'm, I'm going to season it with. Some extra virgin olive oil. And we have some sea salt. Have y'all tried this before, y'all? I got it from the store the other day. Old Bay hot sauce. And y'all know I love my sriracha with my fried chicken. So I had to hurry up on that. We also had Texas Pete up there. Um, but that's not what this is about. Anyway, I'm going to use this sea salt. So, these are going to be what we season the broccoli with. And this would be for the seafood. Also, uh, we purchased a couple of weeks ago some garlic butter from the grocery store. So he's gonna melt some of that down as well. I don't have too much left, but I think it's enough for today. We also have some um, regular butter as well, if we need it. Let me check on the bacon. Okay, it's about time for me to take it out, y'all. All right, y'all, so I pre-cooked the bacon. It's not finished, but I just cooked it a, you know, a little bit. And now I'm going to grab the scallops out of the fridge. And we are going to start the process. He's already wash these and drain them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the process of um just wrapping them and then sticking them through the skewers and then sprinkling some um obey um seasoning on them and then i'll put them in the oven i still have to cook two more pieces of bacon because we have 12 but one of them is really small so i don't know we'll see i may just cook one more piece of bacon but yeah Ronnie is going to sh hold the camera while I show y'all the wrapping process All right. wrapping the scallop mm -hmm. and you can use whatever type of bacon you want I mean we just use what we already had but pre-cooking the bacon helps um, it to cook more evenly with the scallops because the scallops were cooking um, a lot faster than the bacon before when we did this. So we just decided to pre-cook the bacon a little bit. It's not done though, but. You can also use toothpicks if you if you don't want to use the same skewers, but I'm just using the same skewers. You can also buy these like this at the store, but Costco didn't have them when we went this time, so we're just making our own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, and then do four on each one. So, like so. Yeah, I have more than that. Huh? I have six on each one. That's well. Yeah, I have three. No. And I'm just gonna spin it like so. And put them like this, like that, like that. This one is huge.
I don't know about y'all, but this dinner is looking pretty promising. Ain't that right, babe? Mm, it look good, right? Yeah. I think so, too. Y'all ever cook like this, and then by the time it's time to eat, y'all not, y'all just like full? Y'all not hungry? No. I hope that don't happen <laughs> to me. That ain't never happened to me. Oh. Like on Thanksgiving and stuff, you be cooking so much and all that stuff. And then like when you finally sit down to eat, it's like, man, I ain't even that hungry no more. I don't have seafood. Oh. Well, that's true. But actually, soul food is my favorite food, so... Food porn. <laughs> this is about to be so good. Okay, I gotta cook two more pieces of bacon, y'all. But essentially, this was the process. So y'all can see. My bacon tips is just not. I'm gonna just show y'all. I'm gonna sprinkle some um, obey on it, like so. And these are gonna go in the oven for 450. And then once they're done, I still boil them a little bit just to get the bacon a little crispy. And then when you put them on your plate, you can dip them in butter, put more seasoning, do whatever you want. But So he's preparing the um, butter for the lobster tails. Uh, that is garlic butter that we purchased from the store. He just melted it down. Mm -hmm. And now he's adding some Tony Sachery's um, Creole yeah. seasoning. Whatever seasonings you like to your taste. Mm -hmm. We have Obey, we have the Phillips um, seafood seasoning, like whatever. So he's just mixing that down. And we have two more scallops. I'm making two slices up. <clears throat> Excuse me, bacon for those. It already has garlic, so. Uh, I think I used all the onion powder. It should be okay. It, so that's the butter. Butter for it. Then before you uh, put them in the oven, you just got to drizzle them or drizzle it the butter all over it. So but you closed up the pouches. Got oh, you did the lobster, lobster. tail. Oh. Yeah. So that the lobster won't dry when you cook it. So he's going to basically base the, <coughs> the lobster tails on that? Yep. And then do you have to like do it again halfway through, or you just let it cook for 15 minutes? Uh, you can just let it cook for 15 minutes. If you want to, I don't see it hurt. You basically just make sure you keep that moisture in there. I don't see why that would hurt. Do you have to cover them when you're baking them, or no? Mm -hmm. Just put it in there? Okay. And so our potatoes should have about 15 more minutes. You never turned on the steamer either, but I don't think it needs 
that long. Because we still got like 20 or 30 minutes, honestly. So you don't got to do it right now. So yeah, y'all. That's what we doing. Okay, y'all. So he is about to um, baste it with the butter. The seasoned butter before he puts it in the oven. Oh, you know what? She got a step. What? I'm supposed to rub this with olive oil. Really? Yeah. Not a lot, right? Is that going to affect the taste? And this helps so it won't dry it out. Yep. And the potato should be just about finished. Put it on there. teaching y'all something tonight. Okay, so now he's going to um, baste them with the butter, the garlic butter sauce, garlic Cajun butter. Um, and then you can also use this to drizzle on after it's done. So hopefully there's a little left, but probably not. Because he's being very generous with it. These are going to go in the oven at what temperature and for how long? 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. And you should Check still it check it, yeah. Like, yeah. 400. Yeah, he's washing his hands, guys. He's going to put a little bit of, um, is that parsley? Just some garnish. <clears throat> you can just sprinkle it without that. I'll take it off sometimes. There's actually some in there. But, or just put it in your hand and sprinkle it. Save that for freshness. And put it back on there. So yeah, he's just putting parsley flakes on it. Oh, I 
Uncovered. No. <clears throat> 15 minutes. So you're going to put on the top with the baked potatoes. Hopefully those will be coming out. Yeah, and check the, um, the scallops too. I just heard the pan. So the test for these is to stick a knife in them. It said if you can put on the oven on the stove, and it said if it, if it goes all the way through like butter, then you're good. If not, you have to bake them a little longer. So let's do the test. What you think? Mm. It's going all the way through. I'll give them a little teeny bit longer though. Okay. Yep. It's working. And we have some um, light brown sugar and some butter for those. Well, you don't have to put that on there, but that's how I eat mine. <laughs> All right, y'all. So he is putting the king crab in the oven at 400. And he's about to check on the lobsters. We took out the, we broiled these for a little bit. And then we took those out, the scallops. The potatoes should be done by now. I can't see. Ooh, look at that lobster. Yeah, the oven was like this. We did do the self-clean when we bought the house, but I'm getting new appliances. Okay. So now, is it going in smoother, faster? Yeah, that's good right there. All right. So now, then it said to split them all the way down the middle and let them sit for a little bit. And then you can put butter and brown sugar. And I have some brown sugar. Y'all can see the broccoli over there steaming. I have some light brown sugar right here. Hopefully it's not too hard. Um, so now we're just waiting on the crab and the lobster. And the lobster was looking good. And my adult beverage is almost gone, y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all, so all the broccoli is done. He did taste a piece. He said it's good. We don't like our broccoli too limp. We like it a little crunchy. So now I'm going to pour it in this bowl. And then I'm going to uh, toss it lightly in the extra virgin olive oil and then sprinkle some sea salt on it. It actually tastes really, really good like that. I was surprised, but it tastes really good. It's like a fresh taste, kind of. I did not put a lot. This is just to coat it so that the salt will stick to it. And this is a coarse salt, so I don't put that much, but just to show you, you can see the salt is mixed in on there. And you just get like a hint of it whenever you have a bite. And it tastes really good. So that's that on that. That's how we're gonna prepare the broccoli. So I'm gonna just cover it just to keep it. Okay, so Randy's about to pull the lobsters out. They, they sound good. 
Can you guys hear that sizzle? <laughs> they sound really good. Y'all look closer. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Chef Boy RG. Is that painful? Mm -hmm. So he's going to baste it a little bit more with some more butter that he's melted. This is just plain butter that he's melted. Um, still has a little bit of leftover parsley in it, but it looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> this looks so good. And then some of you going to pour some of the butter in this. I don't know. So the last thing we're waiting on are the um, the lobster. I mean the the crab legs are in there now. And then he's gonna put some butter on the two. He only cut open the two that we're gonna eat tonight. He's gonna put some butter. Yum yum. And then I'm gonna put some brown sugar on mine. Do you want brown sugar on yours or no? Yeah. So good, y'all. So just. Pull them apart like so. It'll be so good, y'all. Y'all just don't know. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, y'all. So he just took this out after about 20 minutes, right? It's like 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. And you see the steam rising. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Look who woke up, y'all. We're trying to encroach on our dinner. But yeah, I've already played it mine, just waiting for my. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Y'all, get into it. <laughs> Ooh, yes. With the butter. It's gonna be so good, y'all. Mm, 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 look at this. I'm gonna try to take some pictures before I dig in, but no um, guarantees. Look at this. Looks so good. That's just an outstanding job. We got the butter there, waiting for us. Right Alright y'all, nom nom nom. I'm about to take some pictures, but we going in. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Crazy. That's the equivalent of like three crab legs. <laughs> we got the butter right here. Gonna be good. I've already started tasting the food. Everything tastes amazing. Like, everything tastes amazing. This was such a good idea. And it was Ronnie's idea, by the way. I'm not asking credit for this. It was his idea to do this since we decided to stay in for Super Bowl this year. And this dinner is so good.